Okay, this is question number 20 in the book of questions. This one goes, if ads could be tailored so effectively to your personal desires and concerns that they'd be nearly irresistible, would you want to ban them? Would you buy special high-tech sunglasses that screened out billboards and other advertising to leave a pristine visual landscape? Well, this is a loaded one. Uh, that e effective, advertising that effective is scary. And yes, I would definitely want to at least investigate the technology behind it, what makes it that scarily effective, and look hard at banning it. Uh, this is this this is not something that's without precedent. Uh, like there used to be subliminal inserts in uh, ads were often used to uh, convince people that they wanted something, and that was banned because it's definitely uh, deceptive and uh, well, not uh, not honest, right? It's just not honest, and it seems to me that uh, any kind of technique that tailors things that effectively uh, to make it irresistible that that there's got to be something underhanded going on. That said, properly targeted ads, uh, ads for things that I actually need or want or would be interested in, that I'm not so much against. So if these were irresistible simply because it was the right product, that's a different story, but uh, targeted ads that are relevant to me, I'm all for that because it's less annoying to encounter ads for something relevant than something that you don't care about. Like recently, I've been getting 30 second unskippable ads on YouTube for some outfit called Chubb that does insurance, I think. But they're 30 seconds, they're unskippable, and they're totally irrelevant to me. So, uh, like, I wonder how much they paid for that ad campaign and, and wonder what the point of that is, right? Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, th that's a thing, you know. Well-targeted ads are fine, but if tailored, ads are tailored to me so effectively that uh, they're nearly irresistible, that's going to cause me to buy things or whatever that I don't need or, or necessarily even really want. Uh, so it definitely is at least borderline iffy, and I would definitely want to investigate at least to see if there was something behind them that was deceptive and maybe uh, should be banned. Now, as far as uh, s uh, special high-tech sunglasses to screen out advertising, no, I wouldn't go there. Uh, because one, you can't reproduce a pristine visual landscape uh, w by removing obstacles artificially. You've got to fill in the gap somehow, and there really isn't any, any way to do that because you, you don't have the information to fill it in. Uh, and now you're also editing what you're seeing, and now you can't trust that anything you're seeing is actually there, uh, even as much at, even to the level of reliability of the human visual system. So no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want such uh, high-tech glasses that that uh, filtered out the advertising. Uh, Sure, I would much prefer a uh, pristine visual landscape. That's certainly uh, nicer. Uh, or in this case, pristine meaning no ads. He, certainly, that's nicer. But uh, I would not want to employ something to deceive me or de to deceive myself into thinking there's no advertising out there. Uh, and it would also lead me to wonder what else this uh, technology is editing out of my visual field and that, or editing in for that matter. So uh, that is also, uh, it, it, it's a dangerous direction to go. And I, I can see a lot of people going that way with things like uh, Google Glass or whatever, uh, the augmented reality route. And I think that's ultimately a dead end. I think we will back off from that a large amount uh, once the consequences of it are well understood. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, 
uh, I don't think it's a good idea. And, uh, you know, I just, I wouldn't want to do it at all. I, I definitely wouldn't, even to get rid of annoying ads. Uh, so I guess really, there's not much more to say there. So uh, I guess I'll leave off here. I'll just mention uh, quickly that I've got a Patreon going. So if you want to support the channel financially, you can uh, sign up on there. Uh, if you don't, that's fine too. That's at lostwizard.com. Or not, not lost. It's patreon.com slash lostwizard. I should register lostwizard.com at some point if it's available. Yeah. Any, anyway, patreon.com slash lostwizard. If you don't feel like you want to or, or don't want to you know, support, you provide financial support, that's fine too. Uh, and of course, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.